the good part, part's coming part's up. The good part's coming up. Yeah, oh, let's yeah. watch. It's a lot of money. And that money, in my case, in my wife's case, it came from a book that I wrote. Pretty good book. You might want to read it. It was a bestseller, sold all over the world, and we made money. So if anyone thinks that I should apologize for writing a best-selling book, I'm sorry, I'm not going to do it. All right, you got to pause. Yeah, that's sorry. The, that's the greatest thing I've ever seen in all politics. I'll give you first stab. It's just it, this, like, just Oh, all of a sudden, drop. all of a sudden, wealth is nothing to apologize for. And yeah. look, hey, I created something. So why should I feel bad for I created something that a lot of other people found value in and wanted to consume? Why should I feel bad for making some money? Yeah. It's like, oh, yeah, what, really amazing how quickly it turns to that, isn't it? What, so that's suddenly you're a pure capitalist. Right. In other words, you can create something of value. People can go, hey, this is good and give you money for it. And you've earned that money because you created value. Holy shit, that sounds like capitalism, Bernie Sanders. Right, and it, isn't it so obvious that the obvious next step in applying that, that logic consistently is like, right, but what about someone who created a business? What about Jeff Bezos? By the way, Jeff Bezos wasn't a guy who was born rich. He created Amazon. I mean, look, by the way, there's some he gets like CIA contracts and things like that, and there's, there's some shady statism in there. But, I mean... Anybody who started a business is do. It's like, yeah, that's what you did. The same thing as you by writing this book. They created something that other people wanted. They were willing to pay for it because they felt it improved their life in some way. I don't know why Bernie Sanders' bullshit book would improve your life, but you know, evidently a lot of people thought it would. Uh, but there really is something that Bernie Sanders is dodging. That that's just so. I I can't believe this isn't more apparent to everybody. I mean, to listen to that come out of Bernie Sanders' mouth is really, it, it's like jaw-dropping. But it's like, oh, doesn't it seem like there's something a little bit hypocritical about what's been revealed in Bernie Sanders' last few years of taxes, which is that his 2016 campaign, for all his talk about income inequality being a moral issue and we need to get the money out of politics, this was a huge money-making endeavor for Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders made millions of dollars off running against Hillary Clinton in 2016. And he's like, yeah, and I'm keeping it. Sorry, I made a great book. You go, you go write a book. I wrote a great book. It's like, oh, okay, so all of a sudden, you're not required to pay your fair share. And you can do it. You don't need the government for this. Now, I understand from the Democratic Socialist position arguing that we want the government because it can most, you know, uh, uh, on the biggest scale, it can redistribute this money. But redistributing money is not something you need the government to do. You can just go redistribute the money. Like, if Bernie Sanders was like, you know, why, why would he not at least be giving an additional 20, 30 percent of his income to charity? Or just give it to people. Just give it to people directly. Give gifts. There, you just solved a little bit of the problem of income inequality. For, for you know, for some real people. You made a big difference in their lives. If you're arguing that handouts are the way to go here, um, anyway, it actually gets better than this. But let me reiterate, I voted against, I guess on Fox News, you said that I benefited from Trump's tax bill. Did you tell people that I voted against Trump's tax bill? Sure, but you, okay. did, you did benefit yeah, from it. Yeah. But I voted against it. And I happen to believe that a tax bill written and pushed by Trump, who told the American people that that tax bill, some of you may recall, would not benefit the wealthy. You remember that? Yeah. Oh, it's not going to benefit the wealthy. 83% of the benefits went to the top 1%. You. So I think that's a bad idea. And in my view, maybe he did say people, 1%. Let me take that back. Whether it's me, you, you probably make a lot more money than I do. But whether it's me or you or anybody else, I think wealthy people and large corporations that are making billions of profits should start paying their fair share of taxes. But, Senator, to, to your point and to Joe's point, your taxes do show that you're a millionaire. You did make a million in 2016, 2017. You're right, the 561 in 2018. But your marginal tax rate, tax rate was 26% because of President yeah. Trump's tax cuts. So why not say, you know, I'm leading this revolution. I'm not going to take those. <laughs> Come on. But there, yeah, can you, you got to pull it I, I, oh, Okay, go for I, it. Then. I am... Hold on, pull it, pull it back tax. just a few seconds. But go ahead, say what you're going to say. No, just that laugh alone gives yeah, the away... Scoff. Like, 
wait, why would I ever give away my money? Right. I earned that money. Like, are you kidding me that I would give more taxes? And I thought there was something so nasty about him going, well, you probably make a lot more money than I do. Like, it's like, yeah, dude, I don't know. You all make more money than just about all of us do. What What is the, the differentiation between some Fox News? Well, you probably made $3 million last year. I only made a million dollars. Like, uh, okay. That's not the point. The point is they are not advocating this social democracy or democratic socialism. That's not what they're advocating for. They're not say, they're not up every day saying the 1% need to pay their fair share. You are. Now you're the 1%. What are you doing? You paying your fair share or not? And and it's like, why not? If you're going to lead this revolution, why not go? And, it, and you're just like, oh, you benefited from Trump's tax policy. He goes, yeah, but I voted against it. He goes, right. That's the point. You're still benefiting from it. Like, I don't know why, if you're so against it, why don't you start? Why don't you lead the cause? But actually listen to the answer that Bernie Sanders starts by scoffing and then listen to his response and how unsure of himself he is. I'm not going to take those. <laughs> Come on. But there he, I am, mm. I pay the taxes that I owe. And by the way. Why don't you got Donald Trump up here and ask him how much he pays in taxes? That's the pivot. I, I don't have an answer yeah. for you, but Donald Pause Trump is right worse. He scoffs, stutters, and then finally comes to in his head, let me just pivot right to Donald Trump. That Donald Trump pay his taxes. Now look, number one, even if you were saying Donald Trump is guilty of some type of hypocrisy here, you're still not answering the question about your own hypocrisy. You're just pivoting to Donald Trump. But look, Donald Trump for all you know the things you can say about him he's not out there advocating that the rich pay their fair share so it's the the issue isn't again we're capitalists the issue isn't that you're making money the issue is hypocrisy is it's it's the contradiction in what you're saying versus how you're acting so uh, again just pivots to Donald Trump and then here's his big slam home uh, to the audience Well, we'd love to have you. We would love we'll, to have we'll you. We'll Got him up we and the president, I guess the president watches your network a little bit, right? <laughs> hey, President Trump, my wife and I just released 10 years. Please do the same. Let the American people know how much we're doing. Right. right, and but you just, release just yours, and there's up. some glaring self-contradictions. So why don't we address those? What, like, what's the point in releasing them if you won't answer a fucking question yeah. about the obvious information that we just found in them? So yeah, okay, congratulations, you released them. And when asked a tough question about them, you scoffed, stutter, and pivot to Donald Trump. And by the way, this gets a big, and this is everything that's wrong with politics. This just gets a huge applause from the crowd because really it's just a team sport. And they're like, Bernie Sanders is a team good guy and Donald Trump's the bad guy. So there, he gave it to Donald Trump.